hello guys welcome back so to the one make this amazing brilliant bread so it did very easy to make and you don't need machine i beg save this video because you go need them because anytime you try this recipe you go always want more and you know say for this channel an easy recipe and they bring they come so make we dive in for inside our bowl we'll add our water then we will come add our powder meal so we we'll just make sure say we mix them together to dissolve then we'll add our sugar come put our egg with some salt then with our yeast you just see and say this simple then we'll mix them together then as we don't miss and finish we're not going to let our sit. then we we'll just pour our flour put for inside then for here you they see me i they use my spatula to the mixer so for here as it, the, the flour don't absorb the water so now we will just use our hand to miss her. for here you feel use inside your bowl the way i do or you feel use your top of your work table anyone when you know say they did uh, comfortable for you now you go do you see and now the dough don't come off from top or uh, bottom of the bowl if you don't read this stage like this you go add your butter to inside this your butter don't day for room temperature since before so in not day cold and in not day hard so you just did soft on your own so when you don't add this butter for inside this dough in go soft back no fear no fear say it don't spoil Keep needy, you will see and for here say you see and now because the butter it don't they work, they enter inside the dough, so it go day soft until it come out like this. You will not say it don't reach. All this one will not go past 25 minutes. You don't need and finish. You see and say it they very easy to make. When you eat this bread, I bet you you go always the one maker every time because it they very tasty and it they very soft. So for here, I add all yet put for the bowl so that. I go put uh, the dough for inside, make we cover and make it rest for one hour. You see, and say it did very easy. For here, I did brush the pan because I know say my one hour don't reach. So for here, my bread don't rise and I go punch them to make sure say it go down before I go come out and from inside the bowl. So for here, I won't use KT uh, measure them so that all of them go there for the same height, the same shape. So I beg, it they good make you get scale as a baker or as a cook for your house. It they good so that you go they, every time your things go they, they accurate. So now what you have to do for here, I they weigh each one 124 grams to weigh them. They go they equal. So this one you feel user for any burger bread you want or any type of bread when you want it so it did very good you could just add some small flour on top of your working table if you be say the dough they gum so now but some if you feel not even put flour the dough will take like that so you see and i adjust the roller come make sure say i don't roll and complete then i go come leave and make it rest for 30 minutes you see and now our bread it don't ready then i go just egg wash it break egg then come add some a uh, one tablespoon of water for inside of my egg whisk them together now after they brush top of and so then i'll carry and put for inside oven come baker until it's goldy brown then and it don't come outside fine like this so i'll come out and put for top of my rack making all sweat it did very easy to make these buns see they very very soft i beg if this time i your first time when they come across my video you are welcome here our cooking all the day difficult if you follow the direction. No, say my beautiful fans go feed one. See you on my next video. Bye.